Alrighty, this is the proper way to put thermal compound onto your GPU. Uh, I'm just using an old dead 8800GT to show you this, but this is the right way to do it. Now, put the card over. There's screw holes that you'll have to pop the screws out of. And once you do that, you can gently pry your card apart. And you line up with this. Now, that'll be covered in goo white gray depends on what the manufacturer used. Now you gotta clean that all off so it's nice and shiny. As you can see see the reflection of everything behind me in it. And again you clean the top off. As you can see this card's pretty used and been overclocked and heated up lots. So next you need your thermal paste. This is just a Star's thermal compound. I got it for um, I think it was three dollars for ten tubes off Deal Extreme. I'll post a link in the, in the comments page. But all you need is a little tiny dab. That's even too much. So I'll get some paper here. That is all you need. I will show you how well it spreads out across the the GPU in a second here. So, uh, set the camera down for a second. And take your heat sink back over. Put it down so all that it sits on it. Do a little bit of a move around to transfer that evenly. Go back over, put your screws back in the holes, and that'll apply the pressure that I'm applying right now. And then I'll show you what that looks like now. As you can see, there's no heat sink going on to any of the transistors, any of the diodes, or anything like that. It's not a lot of excess, not a lot of waste. <coughs> and that's how it should look when you pull it off. All of this is meant to do is to any scratches or gouges or anything that are in this plate, it's meant to fill up those holes, those holes and allow the heat to dissipate nicely into your big block of aluminum where your fan can do its job and push it out of your case. And that's how you do that.